Hello, everybody. Uh, just bear with me. I'm just drinking a brew. So um, this is probably a slightly more advanced tutorial than you're used to because I'm actually starting to learn a few things with Python. So if you're not interested in Python or coding, then um, I'm afraid there's not going to be many gags or cat videos or much nonsense in this video. However, uh, I may return to my former comedy antics in due course. We're looking at how to create instances of a class. And rather than do those uh, by hand or manually, or sort of on the fly, those instances are going to be read uh, from addict. Addict is a dictionary. A dictionary in Python has keys and has values. So the key, as you can see from the example on the screen, the key will be a driver's name and the value will be um, an integer which is for these purposes is his salary. Um, so this dictionary is obviously very small just for demonstration purposes. Um, a dictionary can contain thousands of values, keys and values. So um, I had the idea to do a little demo tutorial to teach myself as much as anything really to create um, the class, create a class that has um, the driver's name, the driver's pay, and then use that class over and over again. Each time the class is uh, created, it will have name and pay of the driver. Or well, the class is actually called worker, but um, yeah, there we go. So in the self, sorry, in the def underscore in its function at the start, we initialize the object, we instantiate, I think it's called. So we're basically saying that the name that we supply to the object is uh, the name that the, need, the object actually needs to um, attach to itself, if that makes sense. It takes a bit of getting your head around that. All I can really suggest is just look at loads of very simple class tutorials or OOP object oriented program tutorials I've used um, you may have seen before I've used learn Python the hard way by Z a Shaw and um, there's a dictionary you can learn all about dictionaries on exercise 39 on page 132 Anyway, I digress. Self. So self, in an in a class, when you create a class, you need to use self everywhere because self is what tells the object to use the value that you've given to it. As you can see, all the notes I put on the screen, I'll um, put in the comments below because it's probably easier for you to follow set pay so within the within the class there's going to be the init function which creates the instance of the class and then there are three um, methods a method is a function inside a class but as far as you're concerned it's a function so I've got a set pay function a show pay function and a get pay uh, Setter and setter and getter methods um, are the recommended way of using uh, working with data in a class. I won't go into why, partly because I can't quite remember the, the concise, precise reason. But yeah, look up setter and getter methods. It's the recommended way to work with setting and getting getting data into, an, into a, an object. So here we go. We've got, uh, we've got the set, show, get. 
uh, methods and then the function which I've created after I've made after uh, all of the class bit we loop through so we look at driver cell which are basically key and val in drivers.items so for, for each key value pair in the dictionary items we're actually going to loop through and strip off the second part of the name so Alfie Noakes will become Alfie John Stitch will become John and so on and there it is we, I, I've, I've not really caught up with the screen because I've been waffling but that's what this code does I'll just go through that last bit so we've um, we've added 12% to the original pay value the original pay value came from the dict and then the class ran a function which was called set pay which took one plus a variable called percent and we supply that uh, the value of that variable when we run uh, set pay and uh, put 0.12 0.12 in at the end. So once we've increased the pay, we then add it back to the dict and overwrite the original value which was in the dict. So now we've got on the screen, we've got the stripped off part of the name with um, the driver's new salary. You can see me here just checking the values of the calculator. And I've also had to, uh, within the methods, within the class object, I've used int because I wanted to just round up the values rather than have a whole load of decimal places which aren't really necessary on such a large number, or not for this purpose anyway. Just going to have a swig of my drink. I've already eaten my biscuits, so there will be no dunking involved here. Well, I'm going to uh, put the code on GitHub, and it will be called class-2.py. If anybody wants to find it, use it, mess about with it. And um, I find it quite helpful putting these on YouTube, because then I remember what I've done and where I've put them. If there's any comments or if anyone's got any ideas for how to improve this or, or um, extend this example, pimp it a bit, then uh, let me know. As you can see, I'm just um, I've just updated everything on GitHub, everything up to date, which is nice. The split function, which you saw, um, that basically split the driver's name. So the driver's name was the key, and the driver's name was split using the split function, and it was split where it found um, a gap between the names, the first name and the second name. The naught in the square brackets at the end, that's the indice, that's, that's the position, so f name equals driver dot split uh, brackets, then zero. Zero is the starting position, so naught, one, two, three, four. So if we'd used one in the brackets, we would have just got the surname. So naught is the first, the first position, and we took the first position of the key, which is Alfie or John. Or Barry because we we didn't we wouldn't have wanted to have created um, an instance name with a space in it and it's nice to keep it short for this example I suppose if I had lots of names and um, several Alfies then I would have probably manipulated the key to be Alfie underscore Noakes so instead of using um, split, I would have used mm, join, or yeah, I might have used join, 
Anyway. I hope this has been interesting and not too boring for everybody because, um, yeah, I'm just uh, fading away now. And I might put some comedy little sound effects on at the end if I can be bothered because I'm going now. And I will see you in the next video. And thank you for watching. And subscribe if you would like to. Thank you.